A lost portrait by Flemish artist Peter Paul Rubens has been rediscovered after almost 400 years. The 17th century Flemish artist's head study of the Duke of Buckingham was identified by Dr. Bender Grosvenor from BBC Four's Britain's Lost Masterpieces. It was in Glasgow Museum's collection and on public display at the city's Pollock House stately home. But overpainting and centuries have dirt meant it was thought to be a later copy by another artist. The restored portrait of George Villiers, the first Duke of Buckingham, was authenticated as a Rubens by Ben Van Beneden, director of the Rubensius in Antwerp. He said it was a rare addition to Rubens' portrait ever, showing how he approached the genre. Dr. Grosvenor said, the chance to discover a portrait of such a pivotal figure in British history by one of the greatest artists who ever lived has been thrillingly exciting. Councillor David MacDonald, chairman of Glasgow Life, said, Unsurprisingly we are beyond delighted to discover the painting is by Rubens, an artist renowned globally as one of the most important painters in history. The portrait of the Duke in a dowglet with an elaborate lace collar and a sash dates from around 1625. He was a controversial figure in the Jacobin era who rose from minor nobility to become one of the favourites of James I, who was James VI in Scotland. The nature of their relationship has been the source of much debate. Some experts claim they were lovers, while others believe it was a close platonic friendship. Renovation work carried out by English Heritage at Apethorpe Palace in Northamptonshire, one of the king's favourite residences, revealed a secret passage linking the two men's bedchambers. The Duke was assassinated in 1628 at the age of just 35, three years after James died. Overpainting of the background and other areas by a later artist, along with hundreds of years of dust and dirt, had obscured Rubens' work. But scientific analysis of the wood it was painted on dated it to the 1620s and found it had been prepared in a way done by Rubens' studio. Additional cleaning and x-rays of the hair showed it was not a copy, but was by the artist himself. The painting underwent conservation work by restorer Simon Gillespie to return it to its original appearance. It will go on display at Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum in Glasgow on Thursday. The painting will feature in the first program of the new series Have Britain's Lost Masterpieces at 2100 hours BST on BBC4 on 27 September.